for a few moments, we'd like you to imagine what life is like for children who live, learn and grow up in remote parts of East Africa, in countries like Uganda and Kenya. In rural areas, poverty is rife and often families live in cramped makeshift homes with few, if any, facilities. The main source of food is whatever the family can grow and many hours each day have to be spent tending these meagre crops. To obtain clean drinking water can often mean a trek of many, many miles to the nearest spring or well. And many children, as young as six, have to spend their days helping parents either work in the fields, tending the goats and chickens, fetching fresh water, or even caring for their baby brothers and sisters. There is so much illness, and HIV is widespread among adults. Frequently, it is left for the children to look after their parents, and sadly, this means there are many orphans. Circumstances like these means that making time for a formal education is not always a child's first priority. If the younger generations had more knowledge and skills, they would be better equipped to meet the challenges of their future lives. The poverty cycle is clearly vicious, one that we at ICR are striving to help break at the grassroots level by improving education. The children who go to school love to learn. Their subjects include English, maths and science, as well as vocational skills like farming, building, dressmaking, carpentry and simple metalwork. However, the schools that children attend lack basic facilities. Many schools are made from just a few straw thatched open structures, often in a state of collapse and urgent need of repair. Other schools conduct lessons under the shade of a tree. And during the wet seasons, lessons are often disrupted or cancelled as there is just no shelter. There are no textbooks, notebooks, teaching aids or desks. And children are frequently forced to sit on hard, dusty floors. To make matters worse, there are often no latrines or fresh water supplies. Added to this, schools struggle to recruit and retain good teachers. The lack of facilities discourages those with experience from leaving the cities to work in rural areas. As a result, it is not unusual for one teacher to have as many as up to 100 children in a class. Improved education will help children take better care of their health and, with vocational training, earn an income when they leave school. As they grow older, they will be better prepared to start their own businesses, take control of their own lives, and if need be, support the rest of their family. Working with local communities is the key to ICR's success, and already we have built or refurbished many schools in Uganda and Kenya. Motivated villagers contribute their labour and whatever resources or local expertise they may have and we can help by assisting local communities to take over full responsibility for ongoing development. Added to this, the dedication, commitment and involvement of parents and teachers helps to achieve success. We must do more to build on these achievements. We are now expanding our activities by working with many more schools in Uganda and Kenya, and as a result, we need to raise sufficient money to build over 100 more during the next five years. It gives me great pleasure in opening the new school building. This is why we are launching our Build a School campaign. Most building work and the construction of furniture can be carried out by local labour and this minimises costs. But specialists, architects, contractors and materials have to be paid for. Builder School invites you to contribute to the work we are doing and in return you will be kept informed about our progress. Through our website you can see the current schools that need support and by your generosity watch the improvements as they are made.
you can make a contribution towards a specific school, materials or items of equipment. For example, just £5 will help buy textbooks. £22 will pay for a local carpenter to make a three-seater desk. £1,500 will pay for the installation of a tank to provide a supply of fresh drinking water for a whole school. And £5,000 would fund the cost of a complete classroom. Schools in remote areas are not just about classrooms and desks. They also become community centres for healthcare and vocational training where children can learn about not only hygiene but carpentry, agriculture and metalwork. Your contributions will help us to provide needed items like seeds for their crops, sets of carpentry tools for woodworking, sewing machines and welding equipment. With the nearest health clinic being as much as eight miles away by foot, we also need to supply first aid kits. As the children leave school and enter adulthood, we provide training and make small loans to help young people set up income generating businesses. Our microcredit loan scheme has proved to be remarkably successful setting up hundreds of small businesses. Please accept our invitation to participate and we will keep you regularly updated on the progress at the school you wish to help. To make a donation could not be simpler. You can use the form on our website at www.builderschool.org or telephone us on 01892 519 619 or write to us direct at ICR 27 Church Road, Tunbridge Wells, Kent, TN1 1HT. Please help us to build or change a school and change a child's life for the better. <laughs>